JSTOR is a digital library of academic journals, books, and primary sources. JSTOR helps people discover, use, and build upon a wide range of content through a powerful research and teaching platform and preserves this content for future generations. JSTOR has a very simple search interface. Enter your search terms in the search box and click on the magnifying glass to conduct your search. JSTOR searches can be conducted using Boolean operators to connect your search terms. For instance, the word AND is a Boolean operator. Putting the word AND between your search terms tells the database that you want articles containing both words. For instance, if I want critical articles on Mark Twain's novel Huckleberry Finn, I'd enter my search like this, Twain and Huckleberry. JSTOR located 2,649 journal articles, books, and pamphlets for me. To view an article, I can choose to either read online or download a PDF file of the article. The results list indicates if the article is a book review, right above the title of the article. I'm looking for critical articles on the work Huckleberry Finn, not book reviews, so I'm going to ignore the reviews in the results list. When I click on Read Online for the article I want to look at, JSTOR loads a reading page with a scan of the article. If I want to print the article, I first need to download the PDF file by using the button at the top of the article viewer and then use the Adobe Acrobat Print button. First you accept the JSTOR's terms and conditions before the PDF file will load. The PDF file does not include the proper citation format for the article but all the information I need to cite the article is included on the first page of the PDF file. Using the Citation Tools dialog from the Article Reader view, I can email the citation information to myself. JSTOR does not put your citation into the proper format for you. It only provides you with the information you need to format your own citation. And that is how easy it is to use JSTOR for your research.